Hi everybody, Dr. Kerry Yerke here. Thank you for joining me for today's webinar on uh, chiropractic and nutrition. This is part of our Lunch and Learn series that we like to do at noon and to encourage people to grab a lunch and, and join us and learn a little bit more about um, um, your health. My name is Dr. Kerry Yerke and I am a chiropractor here in uh, Kelowna, British Columbia. And um, today I'm gonna to be talking about what um, type of nutrition that you should um, be eating, what kind of diets, what kind of supplements for your joints, your bones, your muscles, and your nerves. So thanks for joining me today. If you're on YouTube, sorry about the, uh, it looks like my video is kind of stretched out. I'm just gonna change this here so I'm in the uh, corner of the screen for you. And um, all right, so, um, make sure you stay until the end because I will have a special offer for you um, at the end of this presentation. So um, we're going to be about 10 or 15 minutes today and please stay till the end so that um, so that we can um, talk about that special offer. The reason I'm doing this today is our mission is to change and save lives in our community and we include our online community as well. So. Uh, our goal is to change and save lives, uh, help people get relief from pain, and improve their quality of life. So that's our goal uh, here at, uh, at the practice. Just a quick question for you, if you can type in the chat, uh, have you seen a chiropractor in the last 12 months? Uh, yes or no? So uh, please type in our chat, yes or no. Um, the chat window is open right now. Um, and if you have any questions today, type them in the chat. And as I progress uh, through the webinar, I'll be able to answer those questions for you. Uh, my qualifications, I'm a chiropractor. I've been practicing for 30 years. Uh, I've seen over 10,000 patients in my career. Uh, I had a kind of a jump start to my career because I didn't know if I wanted to open my own practice or join a, a group practice. So what I did was I did locums in the first few years of practice, which is when a chiropractor goes on holidays uh, or if they get injured or sick, you take over their practice. And I had over uh, 50 clinics that would use my service over a three year period. I saw thousands of patients during that time. And then subsequently I've had busy practices in my career. And I've seen you know so many people for back pain, neck pain, headaches, joint problems, just a variety of different uh, types of conditions. I also wrote a book on back pain. I'll be telling you about that uh, later in the presentation and uh, I'll show you where, where you can get that. I do think I have some links today that I can, oops, sorry. I do think I have some links that I can share with you today if you're interested in that. If you're on Instagram uh, live with us right now, you can go to the link in the bio and you can, there's a menu that'll drop down and it'll give you all the links to uh, the, the ones that I'm posting here on YouTube. Just a disclaimer, uh, the what we talk about today may not be right for your condition, so uh, please check with your health professional before you start something new. We might be talking about things like calcium or supplements like turmeric, and um, you know, depending on your health, your history, the conditions, some of the medications you're taking, uh, you, you just wanna check with the health professional to make sure it's okay for your condition. If you're a patient of mine, uh, feel free to ask me at the next session and I can give you the right advice uh, for you. Uh, my story, I had a lot of knee pain when I was young and my parents took me to the doctor on a regular basis. And um, uh, the doctor basically just said that um, my condition was growing pains and that I would grow out of it. And that went on for a long time. That went on for um, for a couple years and several visits to the doctor. And what happened was um, my father heard of a chiropractor uh, in our area and he said, you know, let me take you to the chiropractor and see if the chiropractor can help. And when I went to the chiropractor, he's the first one to examine and then x-ray my knees. And when I went back, he told me what the condition was. He said, um, I have a condition where the bones were separating, that he would do adjustments to my knees and my hips to realign them. He would also do some, uh, um, some modalities, some current uh, to speed up the healing process. 
And that was profound for me because before that, doctors were just basically saying that I had growing pains and I'd grow out of it. So this is the first time I had an accurate diagnosis, uh, x-rays were taken, and this chiropractor started doing treatments and it really helped my knees. In fact, after eight months of treatment, my knees healed and I could start uh, excelling at sports, uh, playing with, uh, playing soccer on the field and, uh, you know, doing all the things I love to do. And so it really helped me to overcome an obstacle and get to the next level. And so at that point, I decided I wanted to become a chiropractor because I thought if I could help uh, people with conditions like this, uh, it would make a big difference in their lives. So here I am uh, 30 years of practice later, probably 35, 40 years after I had that initial diagnosis and treatment. So chiropractic, uh, we want to talk, there's three things I want you to take away from today's um, webinar. One is how nutrition helps with chiropractic care. So if you're currently seeing a chiropractor, what you can do nutrition wise to help with the healing, the um, rehabilitation of the joints and the tissues around the joints. Which nutrients to focus on for bones, muscles, nerves, joints, and inflammation. And then I wanna talk about uh, how you can take action, take this information and do something about that today. So how does chiropractic work? Well, as a chiropractor, we work on the alignment of the body. We want to get the ear, shoulder, hip, and ankle lined up. We don't want to see people slouching or with tech's neck with their head forward. Uh, right to left, we don't want to see them with imbalances, crooked one way or the other. So we really want to see everything lined up. And we want to see good range of motion of the joints, good range of motion of the spine, flexibility, because we know movement's very important for the healing process and for your health. And then of course, the nervous system. The brain and the spinal cord is the, are called the central nervous system. They run down the spine. If you have misalignments in the spine, it's gonna affect the nerve flow and it's gonna weaken uh, your body and how it works. So our whole approach for chiropractic is an inside out approach, an approach to um, allow your body to heal, for it to get stronger and for you to tap into that um, healing ability that you naturally have. Now nutrition, uh, to help with the healing process. First, I wanna talk about what to avoid. So if you're a patient and you're trying to heal, avoid eating too much sugar. Uh, sugar's um, not good because it kind of spikes the insulin and insulin can uh, cause a stress response in the body. So I would recommend that you don't eat a lot of sugar. You need some sugar and you need some starches and complex carbohydrates. That'd be like pasta and rice, those types of things. But you don't want to be eating too much simple sugar. Uh, so you, you might want to cut back on some sugar while you're trying to get your inflammation down and for your body to heal. Too much red meat can cause inflammation. Some is good uh, and definitely uh, fish, um, chicken, those types of things are very good choices and occasionally having re red meat, but just not too much. Avoid processed food. And processed food is like lunch meat, uh, prepackaged things. Uh, they have too much preservatives, colors, things like that, additives that uh, can cause the body to react to those ingredients. And then that's counterproductive to the healing process. Alcohol, the debate is out, but I kind of say to my patients, if you can go without alcohol, it's better. If you drink a glass of wine a day, that's okay. Uh, but if you're starting to drink too much, uh, two, three, four glasses a day, or many uh, going binge drinking, on the weekend, that will be pro-inflammatory and it's bad for the healing process. So you wanna to avoid too much alcohol at once and drinking too much on a regular basis. Uh, vegetable oils have a lot of omega-6 fatty acids. Avoid eating too much vegetable oil or trans fats. Uh, a lot of um, fast food places use vegetable oils. Some people buy vegetable oil because it is cheaper but I would avoid heating it up and reusing vegetable oils. Uh, I would go to more natural sources uh, like omega-3 fatty acids, like fish oils. I would do uh, olive oil. I would do um, some butters good. So I would kind of shift to that. 
And so AGEs, this is a combination of um, uh, f ingredients in these foods. And when they're heated up, it can produce um, oxidation in the body. We don't want you to be eating these foods, heating them up and then producing uh, oxidants because that can kind of cause damage to the cells. So what can we do to help the bones, muscles, inflammation and the nerves because that's what we deal with in the clinic primarily so which macronutrients are best for you and i put a picture here of salmon uh, because uh, salmon is one of the better foods so fish salmon uh, uh, trout uh, wild i like to go to the wild fish because it's more healthy than farmed fish i can tell the difference let's use this picture as an example when I go to the grocery store and there's thick white lines in the fish, like way thicker than this, it's farmed. Uh, when there's not as much fat and it's leaner, it's wild. So I can tell just by looking at the fish. But you do want to read the package. Some canned fish is okay sometimes, like sardines. And what um, fish does, it's got a lot of protein. It does have calcium in it especially the canned fish where the bones are in the in the salmon and are getting kind of ground up or, or mixed in. Um, and they have a lot of healthy oils in them. So omega-3 fatty acids or fish oils and these DHA and EPA oils will help the body to reduce inflammation and to heal. A lot of studies have come out and shown the benefits of omega-3 fatty acids for nerves um, I know for joints, it helps as an anti-inflammatory effect. So just eat more fish or salmon, or we'll talk about supplements in a second. Uh, use some um, olive oil in your salads. Use olive oil uh, at low heat for cooking. Uh, you can also use coconut oil at higher heat. Um, you can use some butter mixed in with those. Sometimes I'll combine the oils if I'm cooking, and that will help uh, to keep things healthy. And then, of course, there's supplements. So uh, supplements like, uh, you know, calcium, uh, fish oils. So we'll talk about that as we progress through the uh, webinar today. Which macronutrients are best to focus on? Calcium is very important for the healing of the bones and the nerves. The nerves use calcium for electricity and uh, polarization, depolarization, and then calcium for the bones, making the bones stronger. A lot of studies show that you need vitamin D to pull in the calcium. So I do recommend vitamin D, especially in the, in the winter and colder climates like up here in Canada. And vitamin K, uh, studies have shown that you need some vitamin K with the D to get the maximal absorption. And I noticed a lot of um, supplement companies now doing vitamin D3 with K2, let's say. So um, kind of look for that or ask somebody at the uh, supplement store when you go there, what are the best supplements for you? Uh, calcium, you can get that from cheese and dairy, yogurt. Uh, you can get calcium from nuts. Uh, and some uh, beans are good for calcium too, uh, legumes. So, and then uh, green leafy vegetables. So uh, many different sources of calcium. Um, so that's very important for you. You can get some supplements. Just make sure the quality of the supplement is very good. So do some research. Uh, some of the cheaper brands have fillers in them. Uh, some of the packaging, you know, there's very little product and a big package. I would go with companies that don't have as much filler, have been uh, testing the ingredients and um, basically are delivering on their promises. So, you know, ask, ask the, um, uh, the person that's knowledgeable at the supplement store uh, we do have supplements in the clinic. I'll bring them in for my patients uh, and I'll do webinars like this on a regular basis. Uh, I don't have a lot of supplements for you. Sometimes I'll give you at Amazon links uh, at these webinars. So I don't have a lot of links for you today, but uh, at, at subsequent webinars, if you sign up or follow us, I will give you some links. What are some other good supplements to focus on? Well, collagen is very good for the joints. It's a special type of protein. And it's become very popular because collagen is good for the skin and the hair. Uh, but it's also very good for the elastic tissue in the joints. So like ligaments, um, 
uh, tendons, anything that needs to stretch. So collagen is very good and I usually put a scoop or two of collagen in my smoothie. And today, as soon as I'm done this webinar, I'll be having my smoothie. I came straight from the gym to do this uh, webinar. But after I'm done, I'm going to have my smoothie, which, which is going to include some collagen. Um, what else can you get? Fish oils like omega-3 fatty acids. And a lot of them will say EPA and DHA on them. That's very good for the anti-inflammatory effects and repairing nerves. Okay, so that's good. And then the other uh, supplement that I like to talk to my patients about is turmeric and curcumin. It looks like the ginger root. It's a, it's a little different, but from the same family, let's call it a cousin. And uh, the turmeric and the curcumin, there's been a lot of studies showing it has a powerful anti-inflammatory effect in the body. So a lot of my patients, when they first come in, they're in pain, they're really swollen, they have a lot of inflammation. We wanna get the inflammation down and we want to uh, promote the healing process in the body because the inflammation does carry nutrients to help the joints heal, but we want to speed up that cycle. We want to get that um, inflammatory cycle to take its course and we want patients feeling better, but also getting the repair of the tissue. So I would recommend turmeric and curcumin, very important. And then how can you apply what I'm teaching you today to your daily routine. So here's some tips for you. Now, when I learn something new, uh, what I like to do is immediately make a commitment to implement that. So based on what you learned today, go out and get one supplement or a food product and then bring it home. So uh, go out and get some fish today, let's say for dinner. Uh, go out and get a supplement of uh, calcium from your um, supplement store. Uh, whatever you think is going to help you with your daily routine. Talk to your doctor, uh, call your health professional, and just say, you know, um, would it be beneficial if I took this? I was at a webinar today and I, I was thinking about it, and this is something that may benefit me. Now, once you make that commitment of taking that action, then you want to uh, incorporate that in your routine. So when you bring it home, incorporate it in your next meal, add it to your next smoothie, take it uh, first thing in the morning, whatever is indicated on the bottle, and then just make a commitment to doing that each day. So start with small steps, take some action, follow through, and then that'll start to become part of your routine. Um, now, if you're interested in the book that I wrote on back pain, um, it's on Amazon. There's three formats, paperback, ebook, and audiobook. This is what it looks like right here. Um, and um, a lot of people buy the audiobook so um, the audiobook is by far our best seller. And in there, I talk about um, different back conditions I see in the clinic, different recommendations for those back conditions and how I treat that. So people uh, uh, really find um, you know, that helpful to them. Um, it's very inexpensive to get that book on Amazon. I'm gonna put two links here in the chat one for Amazon Canada, one for the US, because I know a lot of people in the US are watching too. So there's two links for you. And all you have to do is click on that link. It'll take you right over to Amazon and then you can purchase the book. If you're on Instagram, just go uh, to the link in the bio and then you'll see uh, a link uh, in the menu saying back pain, uh, back pain book. So that's one of the links I wanted to share with you today. Um, if you're interested in our masterclass, um, it's called um, Nutrition for the Spine and Joints. And what I'll be teaching there is uh, what I taught you today, but I'll be expanding on that, giving you more detail. So there is a master class that follows up to this free webinar. Um, if you do want to get the, the link to that, again, go to the link in our uh, main menu, and then you'll see Master Class for Nutrition. Click on that, and then you can register for that. Often we'll give a special um, promotion. So there may be a discount or a coupon available for you So uh, for attending today. So just go to the link in the bio. And again, you can check out the uh, Nutrition Masterclass. And oh, here's the link right here. I'm gonna grab that. And if you're on YouTube, I'm gonna put that in the chat. So even if you're watching the recording, uh, you'll see the link and you just have to click on that. And then, 
for your needs some coaching. Now, the coaching that I do, uh, the health coaching, is for people that are not in the Kelowna area. If you're in the Kelowna area, I'll give you an opportunity to come to the clinic so I can meet you. But if you're not in the Kelowna area and you need to find a chiropractor in your area, you want to talk more about your specific health concerns, I'm going to put a link in the show notes. You can sign up for a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me. Then from there, I can refer you to the right uh, health professional in your area. And if we need to follow up, we will. So I'll give you an opportunity to follow up with me. I do all the coaching and I'm going to put that right here in the show notes. So again, best for people that are not in Kelowna and cannot come to the clinic. And then the last link I have for you here is the link for new patients that want to come to the Kelowna clinic. For the next seven days, uh, you'll be able to get 25% off that visit if you click on this link right here. Um, so click on that link. And if it says coupon code, type in webinar 25%. And I'll know where you're coming from. So that's a link right there that you can click on. And it'll take you over to, um, to booking an appointment using our calendar. Okay. And then the last thing that I wanted to mention is do follow us on social media. We're on Instagram, Twitter. Um, we're on TikTok and Facebook. And it's all the same handle at Dr. Carrie Yerke. So at D-R-C-A-R-Y-Y-U-R-K-I-W. That's our handle. Please do uh, follow us, like this video. Uh, as well as on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel and put a like next to this video because uh, we want to do more like this and uh, educate you on nutrition uh, and, and health. And uh, our podcast, same thing. It's called Super Healthy. It's on um, Spotify is our main channel, but we're on um, Apple iTunes and we're on Google in the Play Store as well. So please uh, follow us on Super Healthy. I would appreciate your feedback. If you have any comments, please DM me. Uh, I'd, I'd like to hear uh, what you thought of the content, how we can improve the content going forward. If you have any questions, please let me know. But do subscribe to these channels and you're going to see um, updates to the webinar schedule on Eventbrite and through our website as well. So I want to thank you for joining me today. I really do enjoy doing these, um, these webinars, teaching you about how you, excuse me, how you can improve your health. And I look forward to seeing you next time.